Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestimo channel. Guys, I'm Ram Kessing, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. In previous tutorial, we just talked about what is the computer vision, why we use Unity. In today's tutorial, we are going to explore ML library in your Android applications, iOS and web applications. So let's start the through the video. So guys, in today's video, we are going to explore Media Pipe. Media Pipe is a ML library which is provided by the Google and it is cross-platform. You can use in your Android, iOS, desktop, cloud, web, even on the IoT. Just what feature we can use. So you can see that end-to-end -end acceleration built in fast ML interface and process acceleration even on a common hardware. Keep patience and we will talk about these things so what media pipe supports ml solution in the media pipe face detection face mass in even what is the face detection i will explain uh, what the things you get in face detection i will explain so just uh, in starting i'm just giving you overview that what media pipe supports so it supports face detection face mass so you can see this images videos and you will get a better idea that uh, what the meaning of the face detection what is the meaning of the face mask even you can see the iris means uh, you can see that eyes are just changing and you can see that hands you can just detect the hands pose even you can just uh, look that uh, which pose i am doing like i am doing like this i am doing like this so all the calculation you can perform and we will I will explain in details so first of all I'm just letting you know and holistic in holistic you just control the pose estimation as well as your face mass combination of two and hair segmentation in hair segmentation you can just uh, change the hair it is all like the filters you use on the Instagrams or snapchat and uh, you can see object detection you can just detect the objects on your table and you can also do the box tracking instance motions tracking even object objectron means uh, just you can detect the particular box and nift means uh, some text if you want to detect you can detect so there are the things that uh, these ml solutions supports on this platform android ios c plus plus python js so you can see the most of the supports on these ports but in some cases like object detection it just uh, supports android ios c plus plus not in the python and js so you can see and you can just check out i will provide the link in the description box and these are the blocks you can just check out all the blocks read about and you will learn much more about the ml but in today's tutorial i'm just going to focus on the media pipe i will grip the i will give you a brief introduction and in next tutorial i will share the how i am integrating in unity because whatever i have studied about this means i have explored much more about the media pipe in unity and it is much easier to implement in unity rather than the android because in android you can use android studio directly run it take a third party so it is a quite complex in android as well as if we are doing in unity okay so this is the basic introduction i think you got the idea that what you can do with ml solution in media pipe okay so getting started so it's just giving the documentation that how you can use on the android media pipe so you can just follow it and uh, just i have followed so you have to just follow step by step but yeah you must know that you can't directly uh, make a build in android studio you have to use the command prompts so that's the thing even you can make media pipe on ios python javascript c plus plus and this all the installation gpu support and here you didn't get directly support for the unity so what i will share the link of the unity package how media pipe work in unity i will share you i will share you a project 
setup project that you can you can just get just you can just download and implement the thing or you can just learn first thing let's talk about the face detection here you get all the features one by one and you have to explore that was the thing in the face detection you get so in the media pipe face detection means uh, if you are just implementing it so what camera will do is that when you will pass an emails or videos so your camera will be able to detect that uh, there is a face in the pictures so it may be a multiple face or it may be the single face so when i will share the when i will share the media pipe unity project i will let you know and explain that how it works so in media pipe face detection it is the ultra fast face detection solution that comes with six landmarks means when you detect the person you get six landmarks on your face means there is a, your eyes nose and uh, lips so these are the six landmarks and multi face support means uh, you can see that multi face is also support based on blaze face you can explore ab about the what is the blaze pose blaze pose is also a library and media pipe is made by using the blaze pose in, in earlier blaze face was using for the face detection but it is much more improved and a lightweight build performing face detector and here you can see you can know about the solution api means what you uh, will get in a project and how you can op optimize that you can see the model selection so integer index 0 to 1 use 0 to select short range model and that works for the face within 2 meters from the camera means uh, when uh, model selection when i will provide the sdk you will see that there is a model selection option and when you will put the zero then it uh, when you will put the model selection zero so if user is front of the camera uh, nearly two meters so you so camera will be able to detect means short ranges and if you put the one so it is the full uh, range model so i think if you are uh, in front of the camera five meter away so it will also detect so it, model selection is is just define your uh, range that if you are putting the zero so it will be just measure in two meters and if you are putting one so it will be cover in almost five meters and in minimum detection confidence so minimum detection confidence uh, this value exists 0 to 1 and from the face detection model from detection to be considered successfully means this is the value means minimum detection confidence means that your face is visible or not it does it that it gives some values means if your face is fully visible so it give value around 0 0.9 if your face is not properly visible so it will give value 0 0.2 0 0.3 so by using this minimum distance confidence you can just um, you can you you can know that uh, user is properly visible or not this is the just value and it also helps a lot to determine that your user face is properly visible or not it value it by default 0 0.5 if you want to perform some task and you want to check that your user is properly visible or not so at that time uh, face is properly visible or not so at that time you can use 0 0.8 0 0.9 value in, in output so whatever we have discussed uh, above that it gives six key points from your face so collection of detect faces means uh, if you if you have on the multiple face detection so it will give you multiple face detection but each one have six key points so where each face is represented as a detection proto message that contains a bonding box and six key points means so every face have one bonding box on one bonding box and one bonding box have six key points that is the right eye left eye nose tip and mouth center right ear and left ear dragon the bonding box is composed of x minimum and x minimum width both no normalized to 0 to 1 means whatever it value will be it will be 0 
2 1 that will be x minimum by the image width and y minimum so the bounding box is composed of the bonding box means i have shared that that if there is a multiple faces so every face have one bonding box and in those bonding box there will be six key points so let's suppose there is multiple faces so every uh, bonding box have six key points and uh, what bonding box contain that is give a x minimum and this is from the width and y minimum this is uh, from the height so these values is just defined in 0 to 1 each key point is composed of x and y which are normalized to 0 to 1 by the image width and height so whatever i am saying these are the explaining so this that was the important thing and this is the for the python so i think not need to explain so you can just check out what the thing is but the basic theory is about those thing i have explained in this so in next part we will talk about the face mass in face detection hope you got the idea and uh, in coming lectures i will explain one by one i don't prefer a long tutorial so that's why i'm stopping now and in next part we will talk about the eyes hands pose one by one we will discuss all and in coming lecture i will share the unity sdk that how it works i will explain and what the points we get how we get the points this thing i will explain so thanks for watching have a good day see you in my next part